Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. All the images you see in this video have been generated using a powerful AI tool through a feature called text to image What's truly astonishing is that this service is completely free, yet the quality is so professional that it can easily compete with the world's top art generators like Midjourney or Leonardo. In this tutorial, you'll learn step by step how to use this tool. With just a few simple words, you can turn your ideas into creative visuals in various styles, like realism, anime, pencil sketch, classic art, cyberpunk, or even Pixar-style 3D animation. And most importantly, all of these images are generated without any watermarks. So stick with me until the end of the video, because there are plenty of golden tips coming your way. Now it's time to dive into the world of AI-generated imagery. Let's start by opening a browser of your choice. It's recommended that you're already signed into one of your Google accounts on this browser, just to make the upcoming steps easier. Next, type Google ImageFX into the search bar and hit enter. The link to Google's AI image generation service usually appears among the top results. Click on it to enter the ImageFX homepage. Once you're on this page, known as the ImageFX Art Generator, click on the sign in with Google button located at the top right corner of the screen. In the next step, choose the sign in option. Since you're already logged into your Google account, you'll be granted access right away. Finally, after checking the necessary boxes and agreeing to the privacy policy terms, you'll be taken to the dashboard of this AI-powered image creation service. At the top right corner of the site, you'll see the user profile icon. By clicking on it, you can access account settings, view your personal gallery, or sign out. But now, I want to share something really exciting with you. If you look at the top left corner of the site, you'll notice an option called ImageFX. When you click on it, you'll discover that Google is offering a variety of other services too, like AI models for generating video and music. Some of these services, like VideoFX, aren't publicly available just yet, but you can click on the VideoFX option and land on a page called FX Early Access Program Application, where you can register early completely for free. By doing so, you'll be placed on the Early Access waitlist, and you'll be among the first people to get notified and gain access as soon as the service becomes available. Now, let's head back to the ImageFX workspace. At this stage, I've prepared a prompt in advance, and I'm going to paste it into the prompt input box. This particular prompt is about illustrating a close-up portrait of a joker. Just below the prompt box, you'll see a list of suggested tags. These tags are basically keywords that the AI understands really well and selecting them helps the AI better grasp the idea and mood you're aiming for. That can seriously boost the accuracy and quality of your final output. For example, I'm selecting the tag cinematic. Once I do, it appears inside the prompt box as a colored label. Here's something even cooler. If you click the small arrow next to that tag, a drop-down menu appears showing related options. For the tag cinematic, you'll see suggestions like documentary, still life, and abstract. Each one represents a different visual style, and whichever you choose will directly influence the final look of your image. Below the prompt box, we have the settings section, which opens and closes easily. At the top of this section, you'll find an option called seed. Basically, a seed is a behind-the-scenes numeric value that helps the AI decide where and how to begin generating your image. By default, the seed is unlocked, which means every time you generate an image, even with the same prompt, you'll get a different result. That's because the AI picks a random seed value each time, adding variety to your outputs. But if you click the lock icon to close it, the seed becomes fixed. That means your results will become more similar each time, and you can generate a consistent image over and over again with almost the same style and structure. This feature is especially useful when you want more control and stability in your image outputs. A little further down, you'll see a setting currently labeled Best Quality. This indicates that ImageFX is currently running on the powerful Imagen 3 model. Imagen 3 is Google's third-generation image generation AI, built on diffusion technology. Compared to the earlier versions, Imagen 1 and 2, it offers far more advanced quality, detail, and semantic understanding of prompts. Right next to the seed option, there's another one labeled aspect ratio. Here you can choose whether your image will be square, portrait, or landscape. 
This helps you tailor the dimensions to match platforms like Instagram, TikTok, or video-based platforms like YouTube. Since I'm creating content for long-form YouTube videos, I'll go with the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. After these settings are all configured, I click the Create button. My request enters the processing queue, and shortly after, as you can see, four images based on my prompt are generated. Using the icons located in the top right corner of the prompt box, you can change how the images are displayed. Let's take a look at them. When I hover my mouse over these images, a download button appears in the bottom right corner of each one. The Joker image has been rendered in a realistic style. Now I want to show you how to change the visual style of your AI-generated images in ImageFX. For this second example, I'm going to add the phrase anime style to the end of the prompt. I click the create button, and after a short moment, the results are ready. Let's take a look at these new images. All four Joker visuals now have that classic Japanese anime vibe. It's seriously amazing how precisely this AI captures different styles. In the next test, I want to try the pencil sketch style. I'll edit the prompt, add pencil sketch, and hit create again. Let's wait just a bit. Now let's go through the new results together. These are beautifully detailed, just like authentic pencil sketches. Truly impressive. Now it's time for a different artistic style. This time, I'm going with watercolor illustration. I'll add that phrase to the end of the prompt and click create. A few seconds later, four watercolor style images are generated. Let's take a look at these fresh results. They turned out great. There's a vibrant, artistic feel to them that really stands out. ImageFX is clearly showing off its power. Alright, let's jump into the next test in this section. This time, I'm adding the 3D Pixar style to the prompt. I hit create. And look at that. The outputs are ready. Now it's time to take a look at these 3D images and see what Google's AI image generator has come up with. The images look like they've come straight out of a Pixar animation. The same facial expressions, lighting, and 3D depth. It's truly amazing how just a few words can create such impressive results. And this is only a small glimpse of what Google's ImageFX model is capable of. This model, with its deep understanding of both text and style, can turn just a few words into professional, creative, and highly accurate images that match your exact intent. So now, the question is, how do we access all the images we've generated? I click on the drop-down menu labeled ImageFX at the top left corner of the site. From there, I click on my library. A new page opens up, showing all the images we've generated using Google's AI. Here's a golden tip about this page. I click on the three-dot icon at the top right corner of the site. Make sure the history option in the drop-down menu is set to enabled, so your image archive stays intact here. And if you want, you can delete your entire image history by selecting Delete Library Data. When I hover my mouse over any of the images and click on the three-dot icon, I get options like Delete for removing individual images, and also a download option to save them. In the next example, I want to use more tags and observe their impact on the image. I've pasted a new prompt. This one is for a character portrait. I add the tag close-up so it creates a tight frame of the face. I include realistic to make the portrait more lifelike. I add minimal because beauty truly lies in simplicity. Then I include highly detailed to ensure we get a high quality image with lots of detail. If I click on the small arrow to the right of each of these tags, I get a drop-down list where I can explore other related tag options and activate whichever ones suit my needs. I hit create, and after a few moments, the outputs are ready. Let's take a look at these new images. If you pay close attention, you'll notice how the tags had a real impact on the style of the image. It's genuinely incredible. It proves that this AI truly understands the tags and implements them precisely. Now, in the next example, let's see if Google's AI can generate cartoon-style images. I've prepared a prompt ahead of time and pasted it into the prompt box. I click on Create. After a few moments, four cartoon-style images have been generated. Let's go through these cartoon images. I download one of them. The atmosphere is so delightful, and the colors are incredibly vibrant, like an artist spent hours on it. These kinds of images are perfect for creating children's stories. ImageFX is really showing its strength here. Let's switch gears from people and cartoons and see how this AI performs with car images. I delete the previous prompt and paste a new one about a sports car. Once again I hit create. A short wait. And now let's take a look at the results. In the prompt, I mentioned that the car should have an aggressive tiger style, and that's exactly what we got. 
The understanding and power of this AI is just astonishing. Here's another tip, if later on, you need to access the exact prompt used to create a specific image, here's what to do. Simply click on the drop-down menu labeled image FX at the top left of the site, and go to my library. On this page, click on one of the images we generated to view it in full size. As you'll see, the prompt used to generate that image appears right there, ready for you to copy and use in other projects. Let's move on to the next example and check out how Google's AI performs when it comes to animal images. I've prepared a prompt in advance and pasted it into the box. I click on create. After a few seconds, four images of a cute cat are generated. Let's go over these images as well. What a lovely vibe and how adorable the images are. I download one of them. The bouquet in the background gives it a cinematic feel. Ready to move on to generating location images? Let's see whether Google's AI has a solid understanding of places. I've prepared a prompt for this too and pasted it in. This one's about the Eiffel Tower. In this example, I'm adding the tag highly detailed for better quality and detail, and the tag dramatic to create a more striking image. I click on create, and after a few seconds, we're presented with four generated images of the Eiffel Tower. Let's review these images. I'm quite satisfied with the results. But here's an important point. I should have also included the desired camera angle or perspective. For instance, if I had used tags like drone view or ultra wide, I might have gotten even better results. So, with that in mind, make sure to include those in your own tests. You might not believe it, but it's said that Google's Image N3 model is also very skilled at logo creation. So let's put it to the test. I've got a new prompt ready, specifically for designing a logo for my channel. I hit the create button, and after a few moments, the logos are ready. Let's take a look at them. These logos perfectly reflect the idea and request I gave. Absolutely amazing. Without a doubt, with improved prompts and more testing, even more surprising results are ahead. So keep experimenting, and go ahead, create a logo for your own business with this AI for free. In the next example, we're going to check out how well the ImageFX image generator can create object images. I've prepared a prompt and pasted it into the box. I've also included dramatic to make the image more striking. I click on create. After a few seconds, four images of a studio microphone are generated. Let's check them out too. The warm studio vibe combined with a professional microphone is captured in the most beautiful way possible. I download one of them. And finally, in our last example, I want to try out a new style and atmosphere with ImageFX. I delete the previous prompt, paste in one I've already prepared, and this time the focus is on a cyberpunk setting with neon lights. I hit create, and we wait a few moments. The cyberpunk style character image is ready. Let's go through these images too. I download one of them. The ImageFX AI clearly understands the cyberpunk aesthetic and neon lighting very well and the images in this style are absolutely stunning and impressive. If this tutorial helped you and you found it useful, the least you can do is give it a like. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the next videos. What's coming next will blow your mind with the power of AI. AI is the future, so let's embrace it together. Stick with us.